Today I'm going to show you how to use emulators. Um, so I have two Nintendo emulators and an Atari emulator and a Game Boy Advance emulator. These are the games that I like a lot. So I have two different Nintendo ones because NES Box only lets you play with one Xbox joystick and not four or two, but this one lets you play with more. But I like NES Box, I'll show you why. So how you get these games, these ROMs, as they call them, I go to Cool, Cool ROMs, Cool ROM, dot com right there, and you just click it, and then you go to the top right, click that game icon, come down to anyone you want, the, um. Microsoft Store doesn't have very many emulators. They don't have PlayStation. They don't have Super uh, Super Nintendo uh, they, uh, 64. Nintendo 64. So what you do is just click an emulator. Right there. Click search. Here they are. So. That's the one I have for the Atari. There's another Nintendo one. Um, you know, you can just look at these. There's the Game Boy Color and a lot of others. There's my other one. One I couldn't see was the NES box. So you just go NES box. I don't know why they don't have it in the emulator search, which is weird. And, um,. So, that's how you download them. You, the download would be right here. But, I already downloaded. So, here we are. Let's go to Super Nintendo. And, click any game you want. Here's the top 25 downloaded. Oh, man. Super Mario World, all these. Look at all these downloads. This this is uh, how you know that this site's safe. So one I haven't downloaded yet. Um, Super Mario Kart. So downloading is extremely fast on this site. Scroll down. There it is. Just scroll down. Click download now. On the bottom, just click open, pops up, already zipped for you, and what I do is drag it to my folder that I made, Super, Super Nintendo, put it there, this says it might not be safe, but it is. And double click my folder, and then here's all my games I downloaded. So, um, I didn't, yeah, I didn't copy this one. There, it should have worked out. Yeah, it says copy here or move here. It doesn't matter. You can always close this and open it. Okay, there it is. It just opens in my Super Mario World. Right there. The cool thing is, you have to, yeah, I can play wirelessly with my Xbox joystick. And you can get rid of these Xbox pads by going up, and the, you know, or you can go down and get rid of it. So you just push game on or off. I don't like it on because I already have a joystick, right? There. Okay, and you just push start. One player. 
Like I said, the nest box doesn't let you, let you play with two players. But, yeah, it's working. It's pretty awesome. Here's your player. Maybe Mario. Well, you can't really play with one hand, so I'll just show you the other stuff. Desktop. Um, and then some of these games I didn't even know that Super Nintendo had. Civilization, Org Battle. Most of these are computer and um, PlayStation games. And what I found out on the Game Boy Advanced ones um, doesn't do what Nest Box does. See, it doesn't have their icon, the Nest Box icon. Uh, so what you have to do is go to Game Boy Advance emulator. And it has Gold Realm on the bottom right. And you click, uh, you go to Realm Dictionary, and I save everything to desktop because it's better. So you just go to desktop, and then Game Boy Advanced, and then you would just click when you want. Um, Worms, <laughs> my favorite little game when I was a kid. And you don't actually just click on these like I was. You click open file, and then there they are. Now you can play them. And this one, you can actually put the Xbox controller too. Kind of insane. See? It's working. I bet that's for start. There. <laughs> oh, this game. Okay, there is that one. And you can always just go up, build ROM, or set, you can even save them. But you have to make sure you save it to one of these that you haven't saved to another game. So that's important. So you just go to load, you can load up Final Fantasy Tactics, Advanced, right? Pretty awesome. And then you can just kind of just go around, you know. Some of these don't um, work like this, see? If you have it like that, it won't work. Emulator pause, well, that's after the snap. But you can also do this. Um, there we go. You can always put it right, right, right there. It'll work. And you can put, uh, you know, go to desktop. You can go to nest box. And that one should start playing. <laughs> so you could have two games at once, you know. Kind of funny. Be kind of annoying, but, <laughs> but <laughs> so let's get rid of that. Okay, and this one, this one you don't have to know anything from th anything from the internet. Atari, and they just have tons of games, tons. I bet they have everything on here. So they even have, they have Dig Dog. You can play this one using a controller too. Oh, that's awesome. You can push back. What me and uh, my brothers do are uh, write our records on a piece of paper. We try to beat them. Uh, Activision has Rampage and Double, Double Dragon. Rampage is one of my favorites. That's great. This one's two players. I wish it was three. And yeah, that's that's how it is. Um if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.